In this tutorial, we will learn how to do reverse geocoding in Flutter. Reverse geocoding is the process of taking latitude, longitude, location and returning an address. This is especially helpful when you are developing an Uber-like app or a food delivery app. To get this working, head to your popspec.yaml file and import the geocoder location and Google Maps Flutter package. The last one requires getting an API key. You can check the link in the description for the step-by-step -step setup. The geocoder package will handle the reverse geocoding, while the location package allows us to get the user's current location. Lastly, the Google Maps Flutter package will be used to show the current user's location, and also select a specific place from the map to show its address. Let's get started by building a simple UI. Inside the scaffold's body, put a safe area, then a column. Inside the column, add an expanded future builder. Don't worry about the future or builder argument for now. Below the future builder, add the padded text. You can change the style as you want. For instance, I use the title style. Right at the bottom, we have two raised buttons that take the full screen width. That's it for the UI part. Now, let's build the functions. First, we need to get the user's location. In order to do that, the location service has to be enabled. If not, then we ask the user to enable it through the request service method. If the user refuses, then the function returns null. Otherwise, we go ahead and check if our app has permission to use the location service. If not, then we ask the user to give us the permission. If he refuses, the function returns null. After passing all these tests, we can finally get the user's location and return it. The next function is the get set address which takes the coordinates argument and calls the find address from coordinates method of the geocoder package, then updates the result address with the first address line by setting the state. Now that the functions are ready, we can declare the getUserLocation variable and call it in the init state. While there is no data, the future builder will return a circular progress indicator. Then, once the future returns the user's location, we pass it to the map widget. In order to avoid dealing with state management, I have chosen to listen for the all tab callback in the main widget, thus being able to call the get set address function with the selected marker's location. Finally, we can create the MyMap state form widget. Start by declaring its final variables, marker location, user location, and on tab. Then in the build method, return a Google Map widget. Give it an initial camera position target of either user location or a specific location if the latter wasn't specified. Make sure the My Location Enabled is set to True in order to show the user's location marker. After that, set the marker's argument by creating a new marker set with the marker location or no if the user didn't choose a location yet. And lastly, set the ONTAP argument. In a few lines of code, we were able to create an app that gets the user's current location as well as his address or even any address in the world. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and support me by buying a cup of coffee using the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more Flutter tutorials.